Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? Um, I actually want to start a new series, so this is going to be episode one. Um, I'm going to be doing a new series on my channel. I'm really excited about it's called Makeup on the Chopping Block, and I'm going to try to do it every two weeks. That gives me an opportunity to play with these products and get a feel of how I feel about them. Maybe there are things that I'm thinking about decluttering. Maybe they are products that I don't use anymore. Or maybe they are products that I just never figured out how to use them the way they work for me. So basically, they're going to be, like I said, it's going to be basic, basically just makeup or beauty products on the chopping block. So today I actually have 10 products, which... I don't know if I'll always have 10. I think I'll have between 5 to 10 products um, every two weeks or so. And when I do another episode, I'll let you guys know if I decided to declutter that product or if I decided to keep it and how I felt about the product. So I hope you guys are interested in this uh, new series that I've decided to do. Um, so basically I have this box right here of some beauty products that... I'm just just not sure about so let's get started okay so the first product you guys this is probably not a shock to you because I've been kind of like complaining about this product ever since I purchased it um, this is the Jeffree Star liquid frost highlight and you guys I've tried everything to love this product I've tried everything that I can think of to make this product work for me and honestly the only way that I actually like it just a little bit is with a body lotion as Tiffany Don suggested um but even with a body lotion it is just that ugly kind of chunky glitter that's not attractive in my opinion it just like it's a very like pink glitter that's a really good picture right there it's a pink because that is glitter that is glitter it's very chunky it just it's a weird texture um, so I am going before I declutter this because I did pay a pretty penny for it and I don't want to waste like a whole bottle of liquid highlight I mean this stuff was not cheap um, but I do want to try it a little try to use it a little bit longer and maybe I can put it in a bronzer or I don't know. I'm going to try one more time with this. I'm going to give it like a week or two. And I'll come back and let you guys know if I decided to declutter this or if I found a use for it. So that is the first product I want to talk about. Okay. The next product, um, I pulled these. It's a foundation. And it, I'm going to count this as one product. Um, just because they're exactly the same. They're just in different colors. And I used to be completely obsessed with this foundation. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. Um, and this is in number 710 Classic Ivory and number 720 Creamy Natural. Now, I used to really, really love this product. Obviously, when you pick up a couple of colors, you like it. Um, I never really liked the packaging, this plastic thing. It always comes off. Um, other than that, I always like this product, but recently, I don't know if it's just out of date or if my, I don't know if it's just out of date, um, or if the product just doesn't work for my skin anymore, or if, like I said, it's gone bad or whatever, but I used this the other day. I pulled it out because I saw one of my favorite YouTubers talk about this was her favorite drugstore foundation. And I was like, ooh, I want to play with that foundation again because I really miss it. So I got it out. And, you know, it could have been hormonal. It could have been something I ate that day. It could have been I was just having a bad skin day. Or it could have been this product. So I don't really know. But my forehead, um, all over my forehead, I had little red bumps. And it was just textured and itchy. And it was, like, really irritated. So... I don't know if it was this foundation, so I do want to try it one more time, even though I'm kind of scared to try it. 
I do want to try this foundation one more time before I declutter it. And um, I'll let you guys know if it was this foundation that broke me out. Then I'll definitely let you guys know when I come back for episode 2. And I'll let you know if I decluttered it or not. But I am going to try it just to see to make sure it wasn't this. It might have been a cream, a moisturizer. It might have been hormonal. Like I said, I don't really know what it was. But I'm going to give it a go. And we'll see. But I'm going to count this as, obviously, as one. Okay. So, the next thing I want to talk about is a primer. And this is the Maybelline Master Blur Stick Primer. I, I don't know how I feel about this primer. I still have a lot left. Um, as you can see, it's just a stick primer. Um, it, for me, like if I rub it on my hand, it, my hand looks so smooth and beautiful. I don't know if you can tell. But it looks really, really smooth. But when I put this on my face, I don't really see a difference in my pores. It, I still look like I have large pores. So I'm going to play around with this as much as possible and see if I want to pass this on to someone else, declutter it, or if I decide that I do like it and, you know, figured out a better way to use it. I'm going to try it different ways. I'm going to try to um, directly put it on my pores and I'm going to try to kind of use my fingers and maybe it'll melt in my fingers and push it into my pores that way. And I'm just going to try different ways, basically, to use this product for the next week or two. Come back on here and let you guys know, hey, this did not work for me or this did work for me. So, um, again, this is the Maybelline Master Blur Stick. And this is in 100 Universal Transparent. I know they had different colors. I don't know if they still make this product. I've had it for a little while, but that's the one that I own. Looks like that. So, that is on the shopping block. Alright, another product that is on the chopping block, um, this one is another one that I've just never really loved. Um, this is the Hourglass, um, it's like a mini Hourglass Ambient Dim Light. Um, yeah, I just never, I've never been into these lighting powders. Um, ooh, that is not, it's a weird color. Do you see that? I mean, I don't have any self-tanner on, so I'm, I'm a pretty fair person, but that is weird. I put it right over that primer, and it just, I don't know, it made it like a bronzy, weird look, so. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I'll probably end up decluttering this, but I don't know. I'm going to try it, like I said. It's on the chopping block for a week or two, and I'll come back and let you guys know. If I decided to keep it or chop it. So, a few more products. Like I said, I think I have 10 products. Um, this one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. Um, I do have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. I think it is a good, um, affordable drugstore stick foundation. Um, my problem with this, it is very creamy. It is very blendable. Um, that's why I like it, because it is creamy. It is very blendable. What I like to do with my stick foundations, I'm actually wearing a stick foundation today. I'm actually wearing the um, Hourglass Vanish stick foundation. And what color am I wearing? I'm wearing bisque. Um, and, and just like with this stick foundation, the way I like to apply mine is I'll swipe it on my face like that. And I'll blend it out with this like Tarte Kabuki brush. And it just really blends like a like butter. It's so creamy. This is a very creamy, um, if you're looking for a really good creamy foundation, this is really good. It's wet wild and it's super affordable. I mean, this one is extremely pricey and this one is super affordable. But my problem with this foundation is it comes off for, on my face in like two hours. Like I can apply this put powder on, put setting spray on, and then it comes, it just like melts off my face. So, for me, I feel like if you have normal skin, um, if you have dry skin, you might like it. If you just, you know, moisturize it really well. Um, like I said, and when you blend it out, blend it with like a Kabuki foundation brush or something like that, but um, it blends really well. And I do like that. Um, the pro like I said, the problem for me is basically keeping it la to last. So I'm going to try this with um, 
like a long wearing primer and see if I can get a better result with this. I really want to pick up the Milk, what is it called? The Gripping Primer, that green one. I really want to pick that one up to see if like a foundation like this will stick to it and like last longer than two hours. So that is my goal. I'm going to give it a go and make sure, see how I feel about it. Like I said, it is very creamy, so that's one reason why I didn't want to throw it away because it is a good product. It just does not last on my skin anyway. So that is on the chopping block, guys. Wet and Wild Photo Focus um, Stick Foundation. That is on the chopping block. Okay, next product, um, I have an e.l.f. highlighter. I know this is like some people's like holy grail highlighter. It is, mine broke. I drop everything. I'm like such a klutz when it comes to makeup products. Especially like highlighters, bronzers, they break on me so easily. Um, so I dropped this one. So I might repress it, but it's a baked highlighter. So I don't really, I repressed, um, you know, like Becca highlights and stuff like that. But I've never repressed a baked highlighter. Let me know in the comments if you if you guys have done that and if the if it uh, messes up the product or anything let me know I might try to, to repress it but anyways this is the elf highlighter in um, blush gems um, I feel like this is super like uh, what's the word iconic I don't know I feel like everybody in their mother loves this highlight but me um, and I don't know. I just, I've never liked it. It's not something that I feel like is very intense. I guess I like a really intense highlight, basically. Um, this is kind of like very subtle. Um, I don't know if that's a good swatch, but everything looks really dark on me today. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just, the color is off. It just... It's not very pigmented. There it is right there on my finger. It's just not very pigmented. I don't know if I should like, like I said, break it up and repress it. Um, but it's on the chopping block for now. So basically I may declutter this in an up upcoming uh, chopping block video. I don't know yet. I'm going to try it out. Let you guys know how I feel about it. This is the Paula Darf um, Bronze Glimmer Bronzer. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this, guys, but it is a r straight up red. Like, it reminds me of that red dirt clay that you put in your yard, you know? Like, we had our we had a fence put, put in for the dogs in the backyard, and they put this red clay stuff into, um, they put the, what am I trying to say? They put the wood into the red, this red clay, and it was thick. It was very red, and it was just messy, and it was all in the yard, and this is what it reminds me of. It's just, it's just very not a good bronzer, like, especially for my skin tone. I don't know what I was thinking. I think it was just on sale, because um, it was when they were, they were going to quit selling this brand, and so I picked it up. So, it kind of looks almost like a blush. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually use this as a blush for maybe for the fall. But, I'm going to test it out now and see if it could possibly be saved. Because this is like a, a lot of product. You can see I barely use this. Like, I, I probably didn't even use it basically. Um, so, I am going to... Test it out as a blush. Not, I'm not going to put this all over my face. Not as a bronzer, but as a blush. Maybe an eyeshadow or something like that. Like fall colors. And see if I can somehow make this work for me and keep it. So, that is the goal for this one. Looks like this. Like I said, it's. I'm pretty sure all these. Pretty sure that brand is discontinued. Is the Fiona Styles um, little highlighting trio. Now, the reason why I don't like this product is because it doesn't show up. It reminds me a lot of the, um, the hourglass light, um, what am I trying to say? The hourglass lighting trio thing that you can buy. That's what it reminds me of. So, it just, it's just these very, like, subtle, subtle colors. 
Um, so, yeah. I swatched all three. So, it's just like, like I said, just very subtle. Like, the pink one is the only one that's kind of showing up on me. And the other two are kind of dark for my skin tone. But, I just, I just don't like these powders. They don't seem like a highlight. They're just very subtle highlights. So, I guess if you like, you know, a subtle highlight, um, then you might like it. Like, that's the pink one in the middle. But, for me, like, I don't like, like, today, I'm wearing the, um, Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Highlight. It's mm -hmm. very intense, very gold. I like, a, if I'm going to put a highlighter on my face, I actually want it to show up. You know what I mean? So... There's, again, there's the darker color, there's the pink one, and then there's the, like, fleshy color. So, I just don't like these tones on me. Um, maybe someone else could get a better use out of them, but I'm going to try it again. Like I said, it's definitely on the chopping block. I'll let you guys know. Um, it's called the Light Illusion Prism Palette by Fiona Styles, but it's definitely on the chopping block. This is the It Cosmetics. Bye bye under eye. Uh, okay, the reason why I don't love this particular product, it's very creamy, um, like almost like an oily creamy type product. It goes in, up under your eyes, and um, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. It's very like I feel like it's very sticky. It makes me feel greasy and oily. I feel like maybe if you have dry skin. You would probably really like this product, but for me, I don't love it. So, it's a little dark for me as well. It's right, it's like right there. Um, but I'm going to play with it and see if I can make it work. If not, I mean, this was like a points perks or it came like an Ipsy or something. So, it's not like I'm wasting product. Um, and this is in the color Neutral Medium. So, we're just going to put this on the chopping block before I declutter it and see, can this be saved or are we going to chop it? Alright, so the last makeup product I want to talk about is a Tarte blush. Now, I love Tarte blushes. I think they're beautiful. They're super pigmented. Um, but this one is in Blushing Bright and ever since I've purchased this, I've had trouble with the pigmentation of this blush. Um, it has hard pan. And I think that's one of the reasons. I actually got a knife and I scraped off the top layer of it um, the other night. Um, I've had this um, powder for about three years and it does have hard pan. Um, I feel like when I scrape the top layer off, it does feel like maybe I can use it a little bit better. But yeah, I'm getting more pigment. But before, I just could not get any pigment from this. It had hard pan, and like I said, I got a knife, and I scraped off the top layer, and I do have pigment now. So, that is beautiful. That is exactly like the type of blushes I love to wear. That's why I picked this up. I just really love a good pink blush. So, I'll probably end up keeping this, just a little heads up, but I am putting it on the chopping block to make sure that I, when I apply a brush to it, I am going to get pigmentation, it's because I don't want to keep something that I'm not going to use, basically. Um, and that is all the 10 products that are on my makeup chopping block. Let me know in the comments, is there any makeup that is on your particular chopping block? Or is there any makeup out of the products I showed you that you have an opinion about? Do you love these products? Do you hate these products? Let me know in the comments. And then also, what do you think about the series? Um, or is it something that you're excited to watch? Um, I'm excited to do it. I think it'll be fun. It's going to get me to... Kind of re-fall in love with old products or either really realize that I don't love the products and then declutter them. So I'm excited to do this new series. Like I said, there I probably call them episodes. So this is going to be episode one on the chopping block. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you're enjoying my content. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome to Lashes Tonics O family. Um, also, please make sure to comment down below. I would love to chat with you guys. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you get notified for all future videos. I do have a 
giveaway coming up on my channel for my YouTube anniversary and I will have that information in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!